25 of our marathon training. All right, well, we're a little over three miles into our 20 mile run today. And we're uh, just starting to approach the uh, outer skirts of uh, town. It's really cold and it's really windy. We think you can hear us now. Some of the houses and trees are blocking the wind, but man. Finally. They're really. Yeah, we ran. For three miles. Yeah, over three miles, right into the wind. Oh, there's some of it down. Well, the good thing is it's not hot. Uh, it's not raining. It's not raining. It did rain all night, and there were some massive thunderstorms, so we were able to avoid that. Sure. We still have a way to go. So we're a little five miles in. The storm's taking out some of our trails. <laughs> Just a little bit. 
still, overall, it's not raining now. It's nice, it's actually wind aside. Yeah. A really nice running day. Hi guys! So, so we did a lot of prep work last night. We made our uh, air fried potato wedges, our oatmeal peanut butter raisin balls. We got all our uh, uh, energy jellies ready. Jelly bellies. Jelly bellies. Not into the gel stuff. No. Um, we got our our uh, propel water bottles all set so that's really been working out for us we have all our bags full of all of our food and we're you know snacking at pretty regular intervals uh-huh every uh no more than two miles i think the more we get into the run the more it's like every mile or so for me i need something so. yeah. yeah we're uh, taking a short break because uh, these hills are, are kind of getting to us. We're at almost nine miles. So almost halfway through our run. It's going okay. Yeah. But I thought it's honestly been a couple of weeks since we've run at all. Yeah. So um, considering that. KT Tape is your friend. <laughs> He's got it all over. Yeah, I do. All right. Okay. Turn around point. Turn around. Okay, hold on. All right, I'm gonna get some downhill. 
We gotta get up this hill, then we gotta get up. Okay, so this is it. We are finishing up 20 miles. We feel terrible. <laughs> it was so cold today. Yeah. So much for the weather forecast. Yeah. I think it was going to be in the 50s, but I didn't know it was going to. I don't know. Should check the wind chill because it was definitely cooler feeling than yeah. 55. And of course, uh, at about mile 10, it started raining on us and it rained. Very cold rain. Cold, yeah, it was cold. It was almost like a little bit of hail. It was uh, definitely uh, had a little ice element to yeah. it. Yeah. But here we are, 20 miles. We feel pretty good. And yeah. that's it, our longest long run before the marathon. Now we start to taper off. Oh, thank goodness. We're going to go home, eat a ton of food. <laughs> and then uh, make some more food while we're eating that food. <laughs> no, wait, eat some food while we're making, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, and if you're still here, we're gonna have a quick recap. Man, this is uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, no pun intended. Yeah. 20 miles, week 25, over. <laughs> there you have it, 20 miles. What a day. What a day, and you oh, know, man. it's our last long run. Mm -hmm. For the marathon, yeah. which is coming in three weeks from today. So we're obviously recording this and posting it on Sunday. We ran on Saturday mm -hmm. and because it was such a long run, we didn't get much else done right. uh, during the day. So um, we have so much to say about this run yesterday. First of all, we didn't know if we'd even do it. Yeah. Because David's back has been tweaked for a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't been able to run mm -hmm. in two weeks. Right. And uh, we certainly haven't run any long distance since yeah. our last long run. Yeah, since the 19 miler a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. At least, yeah. So uh, that was kind of, that was kind of, I guess, you know, messing. Mentally. Yeah, yeah. with us mentally. Uh, and then, you know, we had this uh, massive uh, thunderstorm come in. Yeah, all that, night long, the uh, night before. That actually brought a cold front. And you said something that was kind of like weird, mm -hmm. which was you've never... I've never gotten cold on a run. So I, I, I've been running for long enough now and in the same geographic, you know, location. I know living here that if the weather's in the 50s, I can wear a short sleeve shirt and my crop tights. I know if it's in the lower 40s, I should probably do a long sleeve shirt if, and maybe my long pants. If it's below that, I need like another layer. I know this. Well, it was in the, four, uh, the 50s. Mm -hmm. It was like 58. I think when we set out and maybe 52 by the time we got home, yeah. which is, should have been totally fine. Mm -hmm. What really threw me for, threw my body off was the wind. Um, it was a very, very cold, damp wind. Yeah. And I mean, it was so strong. We, we need to look it up. Like they were really, really, yeah. really strong. Uh, not just wind gusts, but just strong wind. Yeah, in uh, some of the footage, you know, when we His started shirt, up, like you could flapping. see my shirt. You know, you just it, it, was it was really, really tough, really intense. And and what happened was we we had to wait out uh, the thunderstorms yeah. in the morning because uh, I mean we're, we we're talking about lightning, so probably eight uh, or nine. A lot of rolling thunder and kind of booming thunder. So once that kind of passed, the the clouds actually started to. Uh, uh, break up. So we went out, we head out, and then you you know you watch the video, but then the clouds came the back. The clouds came back. The well, wind increased, and then it started raining. At about mile 10, all the way until we got uh, back. It was such a cold for, rain. For 10 miles, yeah. So, you but, know, but it's one of those things, you, you know, a while back we talked about, well, you, you can't control race day, but you can control training day. But we had to. Yeah. We had to run this long run before the marathon. Uh, one, we feel great because like we did it, mm -hmm. we did it. And, and so we feel really good about it. And, and the other is, I, I mean, there's really no time. Right. There's no time. Now Now we have to taper off, now we need to recover. I mean, my legs today and my joints are, uh, you know, they're feeling the run yesterday. It, it's not terrible, but you know, it's something that, uh, you know, you don't want to feel. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, uh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. And yeah. And I mean, you know, 
Uh, it was it was hard, uh, uh, and it's a route we've we've uh -huh. never attempted. We've before. talked about doing it before, mm -hmm. but we've never done it because, and it was it was risky doing it on a not great weather day too, mm -hmm. for exactly what happened to us. But um, you know, there's always this thought of, well, what happens if we're in the middle of nowhere and we get stuck in a say freezing cold tundra wind yeah, rain thing um and that happened to us when we were like six miles from the house yeah. so what we did we normally drive to our little running park and run as much as we can around there which on super long run days is kind of daunting because kind of we're boring. covering the same ground yeah. over and over and over again so um i i actually routed for us this time and i did the math on running from our house which is outside of city limit to the park um, and then maybe, you know, run around there and it turned out to be like five miles. So that added 10 miles getting there and getting back, which was really nice to yeah. not have to run 10 extra miles yeah. around the same ground in the park. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we got there and we did, so we ran there and then we did one little like out and back thing. And then we did a long one and then we did, we planned on doing two loops and then running back. And what happened was, so eh, this one, we were fine here here so it was like mile 11 i was like i'm cold yeah why am i colder than when we started running yeah. and then and then the rain came yeah, rain. and then so we were on the loop and i've never noticed this before but it must be a crazy clearing because it was there was no windbreak at all yeah. we were completely exposed to the wind yeah. Yeah. and because of the torrential rain the night before good chunks of our trail were either completely underwater yeah or had been washed away. Yeah. And so it was really just like treacherous. So our plan was to run that loop twice. And instead we made it about half the way around. We had already run across several obstacles on the route. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're up here and I said, hey, <laughs> at this point, I think we have a couple of options. We can either stick with our route and be completely miserable and run through all this water and all this like missing trail, uh, slippery mud and whatever, or we can um, try to like make up some ground and like, you know, maybe do this little, this little in between out and back, or we just go home and call it a day and say, Hey, we did really great. We ran 18 miles. Um, I was kind of pulling for the latter, <laughs> if I'm <laughs> honest with myself, <laughs> but David's like, okay, yeah, let's, let's not do this again. Cause it was absolutely miserable. Yeah, it really was. And, and the other thing too, is the storm was so <laughs> severe. A lot of huge branches uh, oh, were yeah. broken and on the ground around many of the uh, large oak trees. And so it's kind of scary to yeah, run under you, because you it can happen under. again. Right? Yeah, so you don't want to do yeah. that. So it's like, eh, okay. So we bailed yeah. and we ran, did a little extra. Um, and then on the way home, we did like one little like extra kind of let's go down a block here and block, yeah. block. Yeah. And that, that added a little bit. Yeah. Um, and then by the time we got back to our block, we still had... A half a mile ago yeah, like or uh it was close it was 0.6 we were like really close and again i was like hey we can be done and david's like no uh, we need to get 20. no i just for my for my own <laughs> so we did 20. For, my, for my own uh you know uh uh i guess peace of mind we had to do 20 because we did 20. we did it so we did we did do it mm -hmm. um and so you know and then the next day, today, today, all we've been talking about is like, yeah, yeah, we can walk the parks. You know, we, <laughs> we, we feel okay to walk the parks today. We can ride some rides today. Uh, so, you know, uh, I mean, so we did our 20. All we need to do is uh, a 10K. You talking about next week? Oh, you mean adding on to Yeah. At, at, yeah, at, so at yesterday's run plus a 10K and at, that'll at, be race day. And that'll be race day. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty exciting. Um, and the other thing now that we're uh, we're we're trying to uh, uh, pack for or decide is now that we have our fuel, uh, what are we going to do? Are we going to make it and transport it made, yeah. or are we going to get there, purchase what we need there, mm -hmm. and make it there? So that's something to consider because our fuel really worked out uh, well. Yeah. Right. The air fried uh, potato wedges, mm -hmm. our uh, peanut butter raisin, mm -hmm. uh, oatmeal uh, balls, you know, all of that. It's mm -hmm. like, well, you know, what would be better? So we're trying to figure out the best way of doing that and also trying to figure out transportation while we're there. So there's still a lot of stuff going on. What's yeah. what's what's really it's boiling down to now. It's crunch time because you still have costumes to make. <laughs> 
Uh, yes. We're, we're, uh, we're, you know, <laughs> we're, we're hoping for that. Um, but yeah, That'll so uh, it's crunch time. Uh, feel really good. So now we're going to have uh, uh, our Saturdays back a little bit. Uh, Much shorter runs uh, the next two weeks. And uh, uh, we're feeling pretty good. So we'll also run during the week a little bit mm -hmm. and just stay on top of that. And I guess we're ready. This is awesome. This is it. Week here. 25. So uh, yeah, this is this is it. Yeah. So stay around. Uh, let us know how you're doing. Uh, let us know what you think so far. You know, the whole uh, like if you like it. Remember, hit the notification button. So whenever we upload, you are notified right away. And if you haven't, subscribe. Always an adventure with you. We'll see you in a week.